Welcome to seo.divanerasmus.com Hi, my name is Divan and today I'm going to show you an easy flowchart on how to organize and activate your own SEO project. Let's start from the beginning. As you can see, the heading is your guide to activating your SEO by seo.divanerasmus.com The starting area is right here. Uh, SEO, if we scroll down, is uh, also known as Search Engine Optimization. So SEO is the short version of saying Search Engine Optimization. Just keep that in mind because I don't use the long version, I use the abbreviated version more often. So sometimes it's best to just keep in mind it's, it's SEO means Search Engine Optimization. So the explanation of SEO. Uh, people search daily, hourly, and every minute of every second on internet for what they want. Search engines like Google link billions of visitors to websites and content on the internet. Everything we do starts with a search. This is why SEO is important. What we do most on internet is search. It is the gateway of internet. It is not good enough to be online. Your websites need to be found. By optimizing your content for search engines, this is known as SEO. So officially now we will start to understand and implement SEO. Uh, first off, we'll have to, uh, to understand three sections. So uh, I'll, I'll just read what I've, I've written down on this uh, sheet. It says, understanding these three sections of SEO and combining them for great results. So uh, the three sections, as you see, is the first, second, and the third. Now with anything, you have to start from the beginning. So we'll have to go to the first. The first section is, what is SEO? The second section is, why use SEO? And the third section is how to do SEO. Now we'll continue with uh, what is SEO, the first section. And we will see it says, SEO is a process of making improvements on and off your website in order to generate more exposure. And this means that you will get leads to visitors finding you for the right reasons. To continue, Search engines are trying to find and understand all the content and information on the internet so they can quickly bring relevant and authoritative leads in their search engine results by phrase or words. Search engines will determine if your website is relevant to the search phrase the user are searching for. It all depends on these factors what content you have, how it's written in code, how other websites are linked to you, and is your website trustworthy. Make sure you have quality content that's trustworthy and relevant for your visitors. Now we'll move on to section two. Section two we said is why use SEO? So why do we need to use SEO? Well, SEO is what every website needs is visitors but it is more valuable to have traffic of visitors that are looking for the content you have this is what makes seo so important however the other important benefit when looking at a good seo website is that you can measure your results you can use tools to find out how successful your website is and measure your efforts and website performance so uh, what do you look for when you measure your, your performance and you've got uh, measurements on your website? Well, if you have those kind of tools, you have to validate every user's action on your website and see what your visitors are doing and not doing and improving the results further. Well, that was section two. So now we will go to section three. And section three says, uh, the third section is how to do SEO. So now you will understand a little bit more about how to do 
an ACO on your website. So we'll scroll down, third section. Okay, so the third section. You have many areas to focus on when applying SEO to your website. You've got text, also the HTML code of your website, SEO in your images on web pages, and also video. SEO is an ongoing process. Spending time and, if needed, money will lead to your long term SEO goal. Have backlinks and measure how other websites are sharing your content, and even linking to your website. So uh, now we need to understand what are we optimizing for. So who are we optimizing for? Well, we are optimizing for two factors. We've got a factor A and a factor B. Both of them are quite similar in importance, but you will understand that You've got people. People actually drive the bottom line. You will hear lots of people say this, is that without people, search engines are useless. So people are, in fact, the most important aspect. However, if you can combine and you can include your factor A, which is your people, and your factor B, which is your search engines, and you can build content interesting to people and make your content search engine friendly, well, then you have the perfect SEO system. That is what we will call a perfect SEO system. So what steps would you need to take to uh, build your SEO? Well, let's see. Steps to building SEO. Step one, have a strategy. Step two, research keywords relevant to your content. I've already added on my website the information on how to research keywords. So please go through that and understand how to research, research keywords. And now step three, create high quality content with the keywords you researched. Okay, so step four, you need to understand that building backlinks to your website is quite important. So build backlinks to your website by relevant website links to you. And uh, make sure that is the best possible website. If they are ranked in the first page of Google search results, then you are on the right track. But if they are ranked on the 10th page out of a thousand search results behind the thousand search results, then you are on the wrong track. So the better the site that is linking to you, the better your chances are and the better your SEO is. And then step five, make sure your website is running smoothly and fix all technical issues right away. Okay, so uh, time is always a factor. So it is, with anything, it takes time for your efforts to be seen. So in short, this is the final section of this guide, which is a quick guide, but it's very informative and very easy. That is why I've made this. And uh, like I said, time is a factor. It could take some time before your changes and efforts are seen, and search engines are able to display your site in the results. But just as long as you take the time and you put in the effort, you will get your results. This is not the end, but the opportunity of activating your SEO. And uh, if you want to know more about the tools you want to use, just uh, keep on following this website. And uh, you will find out the tools to use for making your website SEO friendly by following seo.divanerasmus.com. And I would just like to say that I've got a whole lot of tools uh, very good tools that can help you measure your website, that can help you measure other people's websites, especially your competition, and making your website even more competitive. So I would like to end this here and say thank you so much for watching this.